Okay everyone, uh, I figured I would do a quick little video to just give you some visual cues to go along with my article. I think sometimes it's a little easier to actually see the things than just read about it. And uh, so here you can see on my um, my uh, screen here, I've got mounted, uh, now this screen real quick is connected to my 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina, right? Um, but connected to that 15 inch MacBook Pro is my 12 inch MacBook Retina, the new one that just came out that's ultra light. Um, it has a retina display, but it also has the ability to boot, uh, connect it over USB, and then show up as a mounted external hard drive on uh, whatever other computer you want it to connect to. So um, it gives you an icon like that, and then you're able to just open it and browse throughout the entire computer as if it's connected as an external hard drive. It's really awesome. So this is where I keep uh, my actual Dropbox uh, it's located here, and it's also where I keep all my Lightroom catalog files and smart previews. Now, um, forgive me for such a messy desk, but um, this is connected over Thunderbolt. Let me show you. First of all, it's really great that I can keep all of my external hard drives and computers and stuff in this gross closet back here um, and close the closet and not have to hear any fans or any sounds at all, which is really great. But Basically, here's my MacBook Retina, which I almost never take anywhere with me anymore. It just sits here. It's running as kind of my workhorse. Thunderbolt out to that monitor that you just saw. And then another Thunderbolt out to um, these two RAID arrays. These are Pegasus R6. Uh, six drives in each um, enclosure. And they both show up as like hard drive number two and hard drive number one on my computer desktop. Uh, if any one drive in this fails, I can swap it out and put a new one. No data is lost. Same case with this. And when I import, all my raw files go to this one and they all go to this one. Um, now here's my nice portable computer that I actually bring with me when I travel everywhere. It's a Retina Display 12 inch uh, MacBook uh, and it connects over USB uh, to what I showed you earlier to give you a mounted external hard drive of everything that it's got here. You use, do that by booting in what's called target disk mode. And this is where all my actual catalog files sit, right here. I edit them and access them through this computer that's connected to my big monitor um, and without ever having to copy anything back and forth. Uh, and then when I need to travel, I just eject it from uh, this computer, unplug this cable, reboot this as a normal computer, and everything's sitting on my desktop and ready to, to go without having to copy any files back and forth from my catalogs or my Dropbox. Um, so that's pretty fantastic. And then for my long-term backup, every year I take any of my raw files from uh, my main working hard drive here. Uh, this is my backup drive that hopefully I never have to access. Um, these are basically just copies of each other, just think of it that way. So I copy everything off this one and I put it on one of these guys. It is a RAID a mirror RAID, that's RAID 1, Guardian Maximus, it's a, and I have one for each year, so there's two hard drives in there, so I have some redundancy if any one fails, and then uh, I can connect these over Firewire or USB, and uh, we're good to go. And what's great is you can get a Firewire to Thunderbolt converter, so I can actually, if I wanted to, um, if I really wanted some convenience, I could daisy chain all these together and connect them to this and see every single thing all at once in my... Uh, on my desktop of my main computer. So it's a pretty fantastic workflow, which obviously the, the chart that I'm including uh, details uh, out a little bit better. But, and this is just a side note. I have these nice little Rocket Tech um, USB readers. I don't think I have the right one with me. But these guys are pretty great. They've got two SD um, reader slots in them. And if you didn't know that, in Lightroom, you can actually import two cards at once. You can import as many cards as you want at once. Um, and so I use these to do that so I don't have to do one card and then another, you know, 20 minutes later when it's done importing. I mean, these are little hard drives I use for when I'm traveling and I need uh, backup um, an external drive. Uh, it's a bus powered USB or Thunderbolt um, connected drive. Um, works fantastically. Oh, one other note I want to say is that a lot of people were wondering about how uh, you would charge the MacBook. Pro Retina to stay on all the time. And what's fantastic, it actually gets all the charge it needs from being plugged into just the USB drive. That's it. This computer only has one port on it. So this it simultaneously mounts and connects as an external drive to this computer and charges. Um, and you're good to go. So that's all. Thanks.